news continues to spread today that the Elmira Psychiatric Center will remain open, saving jobs and keeping families together. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. Thanks for choosing WENY News at 530. While continuing coverage tonight on the governor's announcement to not close the Elmira Psychiatric Center, which is great news to workers and families who rely on its services. WENY's Kelly Meyer has been following this story from the start and has reaction from workers today and a local family who was afraid they were going to be torn apart if the center closed. Hello, your first reactions when you heard this news. Yippee, yay, hooray, finally it paid off. Bonnie Wood is just one of the hundreds of workers at the Elmira Psychiatric Center that played a huge part in keeping it open. They spent months meeting, petitioning, and rallying never once stopping the fight to keep the center open. Uh, people said, why are you doing it? They're going to close. And they says, well, you know, we need to get the message back to the governor. He needs to know that this is a good facility. We, we offer quality care and the patients in this community need the services. And their voices were heard. Governor Andrew Cuomo made this announcement yesterday. And I'm pleased to announce that the inpatient services at the uh, Greater Binghamton Health Center and the Elmira Psychiatric Center are going to continue. For families like Loretta Deeds, who I spoke with just a month ago, it means keeping their daughter close to home. Colleen has lived at the psych center for over 30 years and is a diagnosed schizophrenic. Overjoyed, more than overjoyed. In fact, I just couldn't believe it. I'd be like crying right now. I'm so happy. I missed the news, but <clears throat> when I got home, my mom had a message on her machine. Guess what? The psych center is going to stay open, so I had to call her and... <laughs> <laughs> be sure I heard the right thing. <laughs> now Colleen will be able to stay in the place that she calls her home. I know, I know. That's wonderful. From the petitions to the rallies, the community refused to give up. Now the fight is over, and EPCM patients will stay right here in Elmira. It's a blessing. We're very, very happy. Wonderful Christmas present. Kelly Meyer, WENY News. And Bonnie tells us they're sending a thank you card for keeping the center open and there will be a celebration on January 3rd at Rossi Lanes in Elmira.